हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ संजीव कुमार आई एम लिविंग इन मुंबई करेंटली आई एम इनरोल फॉर डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कोर्स वेर आई हैव डेवलप्ड ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन माय प्रोजेक्ट आई एम यूजिंग एंगुलर जे एस बू स्ट्रैप सी एस एस थ्री एस वन फाइव एज अ फ्रंट एंड एंड एज टू डेटा बेस एज अ बैक एंड फॉर द इम्प्लीमेंटिंग ऑफ फ्रंट एंड एंड बैक एंड आई एम यूजिंग स्प्रिंग एम वी सी फ्रेमवर्क इन माई प्रोजेक्ट आई सेल हैंडी क्राफ्ट आइटम नाउ माई सर्वर इज स्टार्टेड सो वेन आई वेन आई put the url in my search bar i got my landing page the landing page is similar for everyone in this i have carousel these are the carousel and these are the product which comes from the database and in nav bar i have setting category and products in setting i have two options for the login and sign up so first i am login with admin no <coughs> admin oh sorry admin and no this is the admin page page and admin there is a option in setting there is a logout option and there is a category and category i have four rows in category which comes from the database and i have the products table and i have admin admin app and admin i have the option of add product category add supplier now admin this is the admin part and so admin can have option for add product update product delete product and similar for category he can update category and delete the category and supplier now first thing i am adding a new category so there are option for adding a category so i am adding a category wax and description is like this is a wax category so i am not choosing any image i am only submitted now there is a category added with wax and now i am adding another category with the name of sand and description i am and thing like this is a uh, sand i'm not adding for this also so i'm submitted and there is a now there is two category which added 5 and 6 i have added a two category in category table i this increases a category table also here added wax and sand also so now i am going to add product now i'm adding a four product okay first product is like i am adding product wax one and category is wax and quantity i have uh, 10 so supplier is like lalit and price should be 100 and i am choosing description this made with wax i am choosing an image no i'm adding a wax image so i'm submitted 
No, price should not less than 500. This is the hibernant validation. So I must be a price of 500 and I'm choosing the image and submit it. Now the wax one is added in my product table. Now I'm added another product with the wax two. Mm. And the category is wax and quantity will also the then supply will budget and price should be uh, more than 500 or 500 so i am adding a price of uh, 1000 description like this is is wax category this is wax category mm, product and I am choosing an image also for the live and submit it now the wax to another product will add it now I am adding another product with sand one to sand one and category will be sand and quantity will be also I'm adding 10 and supply will be uh, Sanjeev and price I make it 1000 and description I make it this is a sand category product this is hand category product I am choosing a image for the sand category image and submit it now I have added three product with the different categories now now these are the implementation and these are the adding of category look um i want to uh, like i want to edit uh, the category name so i implement here like sand category one or uh, sand new one so i am submitted now the category was updated now uh, I now I'm going to the add category and I am I am deleted the sand category now then what happened and then when I'm going to the product table I have the category uh, I have the products and new but the category is not available anymore now because I am deleting the category and in my home page I have the now look this is the product which I am added which comes from the database and and similar for the supply and similar for the category I am added uh, and they are the wax and when I am deleted uh, the sand category it's removed from the database so there are only five categories available and the view when I click on the view there is a category which are available in my database it's showing the table and when I click for the particular category I got the particular category related product when I click for the glass so there is a no product available in this category it's mean I have no any product with the category name of glass and now the admin part almost over now I am option of logout so so 
now this is the page of similar page look like I'm a guest and first visit the particular website or first e commerce website now I'm going to the particular product like wow I'm the <coughs> look uh, first um, I'm the user and I uh, I would like to buy the product oh, uh, so first I'm clicking here so I'm get the product information about the product name ID price category and description and I would like to buy it first so here is the option for please log in here to buy the product so I am here for the login and first I am need a username and password so just user and password I am created my customer detail page and here I am registered with the name and all the things like uh, name is R name is R or name is T and email address is T save adder it g dot com and phone number is like one nine 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 and I'm selecting as a mail and username as I'm choosing as a T and password I am using as a T now I'm submitted it oh number must be 10 so I am adding a 10 digit number now I am uh, setting a password and submit it now I am successfully registered so I am using my username T and password T for entering and now I have now now I am entered with the my username T and I am getting a an account with the T and I have a card and in my cart there is a no product available in my cart uh, I'm, I'm not adding any cart I'm not adding any product in my cart so first I am going to add a product which are available in product table and I am adding a product in my cart now whenever I click I, when I'm not a a user of handicraft when I am guest so um, there is a no option for order now so when I am a user of handicraft then I have the another option like I have order now option when I click over the order now the product will added my cart here the product is added to my cart with the name of part and I would not like to buy this product so I am easily removed from it from my cart so so I am continue shopping so I, I would like to buy uh, like I would like to buy wax wax to product so I am going to order it and add it to my cart I am coming back and and um, another adding a product which sent me now the product now cart cart quantity will increase now I am adding a two category in my two product in my cart and quantity will be uh, one of the first product and second also uh, uh, say uh, one and in my uh, product I have quantity of wax product is one and quantity of send new product is also one so now I am adding another wax product uh, wax to the quantity of the card is remains same but but the number of the cart items will remain same but the quantity of wax product is increases now 
now the I have added to my card and now I am e eligible for shopping and I am going to check out so this is the part of webflow and my like and this is the shipping details so fill the details of shipping and like uh, street name like I'm living in Pratap Nagar so I'm fill the details and seven eight so all the details will automatically filled and so I'm saving the details now I'm adding another now I'm adding billing address like Pratap Nagar as usual so apartment number is seven eight and I'm saving the details and I have card details so card number whatever the card number is seven eight six four three two one it would be and card date I put the card date uh, like so seven generated Oh, sorry the card generated date is sixteen uh, February 2016 and expiry date is like an expiry date of card is I'm putting mm, March and 2016 name on card is like kind name is Sanjeev and card number like uh, six like uh, seven six mm -mm. six seven nine and check out now the checkout is options for me and when I check out the data will be saved in database and the card will be going to the blank now product the product should be delivered soon when I click on the card now there is no product in my card because all the details all the card items or the card details I have added the product in my card which is already I have ordered so there is no product in my cart so this is now similarly and this is my website and this is my home page and thank you thank you for watching thank you very much